Hi, my name is Krista Carlamusto, founder and owner of Private Health Physical Therapy and Wellness. I am a physical therapist and a pelvic health specialist, and today I wanted to talk about the vulva and why it is so important to know and understand this part of your body. So when I say vulva, I mean uh, external female genitalia. Some of you might refer to this area as your vagina. However, the opening to the vagina is a component of your vulva. I do meet individuals who have never seen their vulva, and as a response to that, I often recommend them going home and looking at their vulva. So why do I recommend that? Why do I think it's so important? There are many reasons um, that I think it's important to know and understand your body, but one we're gonna talk about today is how it can help you communicate more appropriately with your healthcare providers. Let me give you an example. So say you go into your gynecologist and say, doctor, I have pain down there. That's not very specific and you might be vulnerable uh, for more clinical and diagnostic testing that are time consuming, potentially expensive, and not all that necessary. But if you have a little education about your body, you could go in there and say, doctor, I have pain at my perineum at the site of my episiotomy scar and it hurts when I have sex. There you go. Um, you didn't diagnose yourself with anything. You just gave your physician more information so they can um, better focus your treatment and make the necessary recommendations. So that's why I think it's so important to know your body. When I do give the recommendation for my clients to go home and view their vulva, I usually tell them to find a comfortable place in their home. Your bed is probably your best bet. Um, you're going to grab a mirror. I like something like this. It's a little bit wider so you could get a good view of what's going on. You are going to disrobe from the waist down, lie down, get comfortable, spread the knees, and take a look. It's as simple as that. So I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pop up a nice uh, picture and we're going to take a little tour of the vulva. All right, here we go. So the first thing you're gonna see is this little mound up top with the pubic hair on it that is called your mons pubis. Now the next thing you'll see is the outer labia, also called your labia majora or your outer lips. Now the outer portion of this area does have pubic hair on it, the inner portion does not. Okay, now you'll see your inner labia, also called your labia minora or your inner lips. Now where the inner labia connect to up top, this is where you're going to see your clitoris and your clitoral hood. Just inferior to that or just below that, you're going to see this dark little hole. That is your urethral opening. This is what we urinate out of. Below that, you're going to see the opening to the vagina, also called your introitus or your vaginal vestibule. In between the opening to the vagina and your anus, you're going to see this blank area. It doesn't look like much is going on, but it's actually a pretty important area for muscle and tissue attachment, and it is called your perineum. Now just below that is your anus, technically not a part of your vulva, however we should include it anyway. So this was a brief tour of your vulva. So now that we've talked about the vulva and we've seen the vulva, let's talk about some potential variations or some questions that you might have regarding your own anatomy. So a question that I often get is regarding the inner labia portion of the vulva. So when you look at the inner labia, it kind of looks like the tissues just a bit thrown together. Um, what I find is that this part of your vulva uh, is almost like your fingerprint. It's very specific to you and it might look completely different than somebody else's and that's totally fine. Yours might protrude out a little bit more. Uh, uh, both sides might be very asymmetric. Um, the edges might be a little bit more scalloped and not smooth. That's totally fine. The purpose of the inner labia is to protect the uh, clitoral region, the opening to the urethra, and the opening to the vagina. That's its job, but it could look completely different um, than what you think might look normal, and that's totally fine. Other variations include how the opening to the vagina might look. So after you've had a vaginal delivery, the opening to your vagina might look a little bit different than it had previous to your delivery, and that's okay. Another variation could be the size of your clitoris. That's different from person to person. 
um, the perineum area, the perineal area could look a little bit different if you've ever had tearing from a vaginal delivery or an episiotomy scar. That tissue might look a little bit different. Um, the area that shouldn't look too different from person to person is the anus. It should be tightly closed with kind of the starburst look to it. If it's not, if it's gaping, um, and if you have accompanied incontinence to gas or feces, that is actually something that you should speak to your physician about. So those are just um, some common variations or differences um, that you might find from vulva to vulva, but these differences are fine, they're okay. However, if you have any questions, um, ask a pelvic specialist, ask your physician, ask your gynecologist. They'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have about your anatomy. So I encourage you to take a look at it, uh, get to know your vulva so you can better communicate with your healthcare professionals. So thanks again for watching and I hope to treat you soon.